or if I lost connection on the Bluetooth from the camera to the app. But here we go again. Um, I've already smoked it once. I'm gonna go prop the camera up in the shade over here, under the umbrella, point it at the hive, and I will attempt to do what I came to do today. Okay, that's decent. So as long as this doesn't fall over, we're good. And now let me get my gear on. Safety first, as much as I like these bees and as docile as they are, uh, they can become defensive when you go into their hive, especially if you crush a couple of them accidentally. So we'll see how this works out. Sorry for the noise of the neighbors. Their uh, landscapers are over there with their leaf blowers. So I've got my Halloween costume on now. This is Ryder in his Halloween costume. And I'm gonna put my gloves on. I haven't been stung in a long time, so just taking the safety precautions so it doesn't happen again. I do have a, a moderate allergy to bee stings. I swell up pretty good. I do not go into anaphylactic shock, but you never know. So, give another puff of smoke here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open the top. And I'll just set the lid right here. And then use my, yeah, just puff some more smoke in the top. look like they're going pretty good in here lots of lots of baby bees lots of workers lots of nurse bees all busy doing their stuff so I'm just gonna set that down on top of the inner lid and let me grab the camera real quick I will show you these two frames right here have been overbuilt and they are seven years old so it is time to take them out clean them and then i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine this should fit ten and so i'm going to pull these two out i'll put these two in and then maybe i'll go grab i want to stay up of course, of course. Let's try a different thing. See if I can do that. Either. One more try. Really should have set up a tripod here today. How about this? Move this over and this up. Yeah, it just wants to tip over. Darn it, this thing I'm using is not quite heavy enough. There we go. Okay, staying up. All right, so put my glove back on and I'm gonna go ahead and do another smoking of them. Get them all to take a nice drink of honey and hide their little heads and such. Now I do have a queen excluder in here and it's sitting right here and that will keep the, the queen from coming up top here so I know she's not in the top right now because she was excluded last week when we painted her. this frame is really heavy which is good because that means that means that all the brood is hatched from it and there is a ton of honey in it well there's a little bit of brood left in this side but the other side all the brood is hatched and it's just full of honey and it's not even capped so I'm gonna just set this right here on my extra set of hands and hope the camera doesn't fall over and Hopefully these bees will fly away home. And now I'm gonna pull out the second one. This hive box is seven years old, so there is a ton of propolis. Very well stuck. Okay, I'm not seeing any brood on here. I'm just seeing honey. 
and again on the back side so excellent uh, there's a couple of big drone bees on there you can see those those are not queens that's a drone that's a male he really has one purpose in life and that is to mate with a queen from another hive so I'm gonna try to knock some of these guys off Yeah, I got most of them off. I'm gonna set that on here too. And then I might have to go grab my brush to brush the bees off when I'm done with that. Okay, now I have a nice big gap in here. And because of that, I am going to slide this board over that's already been in here for a while. And now, well, I've got some wax build up here, so bear with me while I clean out this little bit of wax. And there's three more clumps of wax. drop one of them and give it another puff of smoke now this should fit in there nicely it shouldn't be rubbing up against anything anymore and it does okay so I've got those frames in there now I'm going to reach in there and actually take my glove off in order to pick that last piece of wax up. I'm going to take out one of these treatment packs and put it in here. So, not sure if I can do it with my glove, but I'll wash my hands afterwards. did not get the instructions on this, but I assume I have to peel this off. Ooh, it is strong. Oh, my goodness, that's strong stuff. So I'm gonna lay that right in here. Oh my goodness, this is strong. I can see why it gets rid of the Veromites. So I'm going to have to wrap this up in a Ziploc bag because I will treat again in like, I think it's another 10 days. All right, so I'm going to put these two frames in here. And then the last frame, I'm going to run and grab a frame from my storage shed and I'll be right back. This is just a medium frame. Let me make sure it's still working. Camera's still working. Yeah. So this is just a medium frame here, but it's gonna work as a placeholder. At least that way they won't start building comb on top of the lid or off of the lid. Um, if, if they grow anything in here, that'll be all right by me. I won't have a problem with that. So at least there won't be building up honeycomb on the top. And I will replace that with another full frame, possibly one of these ones when I finish harvesting the honey from them. I'm gonna put my glove back on because I'm going to try to get as many of the rest of these bees off here without having to get the brush and brush them off. 
So we'll just take this over and I'm gonna fold it. And And that's most of them. There we go. I got most of them off of that one. There's maybe 10 left on it. That's a lot better than a couple hundred. So I'll switch out the other one. And do the same thing again. Now see what I do is I hold the frame with one hand and then hit it with the other. I, I don't want to do too much hitting on this one because this has a lot of uncapped honey and I, I don't want to make a big mess with it. So here we go. There, got rid of most of them there. Okay, so I am down to maybe a dozen on each of these two frames. And I'll go ahead and I'm going to put the lid back on. And I do it as carefully and slowly as I can so as not to injure any more bees than I already have. Oh, this is oriented wrong. I want the openings toward the front. So I actually have a couple little openings on here. And I'll show you those in just a moment. So let me grab the camera with my ungloved hand. Show you what we got going on. See these little openings that I cut in here will actually allow the bees to fly in and out the top and they also allow heat to escape during the summertime. And because the lid is just slightly larger, so the live stream stopped. As you can see my smoker's still going. I could I have enough smoke, but it's really too hot for me to do another inspection. I want to take these frames indoors before other bees show up and start robbing them because we have many hives around here. I have three myself and just leave these guys to calm down. So that's it for now. Um, I'll edit this in on the YouTube channel uh, so it completes the video for today. So I used one of my two treatment packs and I took two frames of honey out and I put in three new frames this has been successful and I did it, I think within 15, 20 minutes. So that's not bad at all. Thanks a lot for checking out my videos. Uh, hopefully you found it entertaining, possibly uh, educational. For now, Ryder out. All right, Ryder here again, one more time. Really short video to add to the end of this inspection. And that is that I have moved this empty box that just has like a medium frame in it and a feeder and now it's got my extra set of hands uh, for holding frames on the side of a box sitting here and I've set it up in such a way so that during the heat of the day the hottest part of the day this will protect this hive from getting too hot uh, I don't want that treatment pack in there to kill my colony so I'm hoping Hoping that uh, this will get rid of the Varroa that's in there. And I also saw some uh, uh, larva for moths in there. And so we'll see. They're, they're having a little bit of a reaction to it right now. It is about 84 degrees. So it's pretty much the hottest I want it to get. So by keeping it in the shade, that will help. I am seeing some drones come out of it and that actually scared me for a second. I thought it, the queen came out, but um, she has a big white spot on her. We put it on her last week and so it's not her, but uh, we'll see how this works out. Uh, one thing I can do is put my nuke box next to this in case the queen does want to swarm away. She could find that to be a home right away. So I'm, I might do that. Uh, we'll see how it goes and then next week or this weekend. I will inspect this hive To see if this needs to be treated as well But hopefully it's uh, confined to this one hive and hopefully I've killed it off. 
I'm gonna go inside and harvest that honey. I managed to get those frames inside. Uh, I got all the bees off of them. One of them chased me all the way to the house. Um, was kind of upset that I was taking their honey. Uh, and I am not wearing my uh, protective gear anymore. Uh, it's just too hot for me to stand out here in the direct sun. So I left them a little bit of honey right here. And so that's what I'm gonna do for now. I'm gonna harvest some honey and I am going to uh, do some more watering here in the yard and then head back to my other home. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it entertaining or educational. If you do like it, feel free to subscribe. It's free here on YouTube. And on Twitch, it's only five bucks. So, for now, the bees and Ryder out.